The following video will outline the information and exercises to assist your recovery following your knee arthroscopy. This is general advice only and you should follow any specific instructions given to you by your surgeon. For the first few days after your operation, try to limit your mobility to essential activities only, such as preparing food and going to the bathroom. You should aim to give yourself plenty of rest periods throughout the day on the couch or bed with your leg elevated to help minimise swelling. Over the next couple of weeks, you can start to gradually increase your walking as comfortable, ensuring your pain levels and swelling remain controlled. In most cases, a gait aid such as a walking stick is not required. You should aim to walk as normally as possible without limping. If you usually use an aid to assist your walking, please continue to do so. Please do not resume any other activities such as gym, sport, running or swimming until after you have seen your surgeon at your post-operative appointment and they have cleared you to do so. For the first 48 hours, it is recommended that you ice your knee for 15 to 20 minutes every couple of hours. You should not place ice directly onto your skin, instead wrap it in a pillowcase or tea towel. It is a good idea to continue icing for the next couple of weeks after completing your exercises or after going for a walk. Your nurse will provide you with a tubey grip compression bandage to help keep the swelling to a minimum. You should put it on your knee as soon as you're able to remove your bulky dressing. It should feel firm but comfortable and not feel as though it is restricting your circulation or leaving indentations on your skin. Remove your tubey grip for showering and at night time when going to sleep. It is recommended that you complete the exercises as per the sheet provided to you by your nurse. Continue with these until your surgical review and do not push through pain. We suggest doing five to 10 repetitions of each exercise three to five times a day. If you're getting increased pain and swelling from the exercises, then reduce the reps and frequency and increase the use of ice. The first five exercises are performed lying down on your bed. Pump both feet backwards and forwards, commencing as soon as you're awake from your anaesthetic. Aim to do 10 to 20 per hour. This helps improve your circulation and reduces the risk of blood clots forming. Bend the good, unoperated leg and place that foot on the bed. Then lift your operated leg up about as high as the other knee, about 45 degrees, keeping the knee as straight as possible. Hold for five seconds and then return the leg to the bed. You should feel this working the quads, the muscles on the front of your thigh. If you feel a tightness or pain in your back or in your hamstrings, it is best not to lift quite as high off the bed. Place a firmly rolled towel under the ankle of the operated leg. Relax and allow the knee to straighten. The aim is to feel a stretch behind the knee. If you can't, then add some gentle pressure by using your hands to push down on the thigh or the shin. Hold this position for five to 10 minutes maximum or as comfort allows. Bend the operated knee by sliding your foot along the bed. Unless your surgeon has advised you to restrict your bending, you should aim to move it as far as it feels comfortable. Placing a plastic bag underneath the foot will help it to slide more easily. Place the rolled towel underneath your knee as shown. Push the back of your knee down into the towel and straighten your knee by lifting your heel off the bed. Hold for five seconds and then slowly lower your foot back down to the bed. Remove the towel once you have finished the exercises as leaving it in place for extended periods only encourages tightness at the back of your knee. The next two exercises should be done sitting in a chair, preferably with arms. With your knee bent to approximately 90 degrees, lift your foot off the floor and straighten your knee as much as possible. Hold this position for five seconds and then lower your foot to the floor. You should feel this in your quads or thigh muscles. Slide the foot of your operated leg back underneath the chair as far as you feel comfortable. To add an extra stretch, cross the good leg in front of your operated leg and use it to push the operated leg further. Hold this position for five seconds and then relax both legs. If you're having surgery on both knees or have pain in the other leg, just use your hands to assist in bending the knee. 
If you have stairs, it is advised to minimise the number of times that you go up and down them initially. It is safest to practise good leg to heaven and bad leg to hell, as shown. We hope you have found this information helpful. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.